Hey, this is Leslie Samuel from Become a Blogger, where we're changing the world one blog at a time. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your subscribers from Aweber to get response. I made the decision to switch from Aweber to get response because I love the features that get response has. And now I need to take my my subscribers and move them over. The great thing about this is if you're doing it with get response, if you're bringing them into get response, those subscribers that you already got to opt in don't need to reconfirm their email addresses. If you are going in the opposite direction from get response or any other service into Aweber, you would have to have your subscribers confirm their email address again and that will result in you losing a significant amount of subscribers. We don't have to worry about that coming in to get response. You just have to let get response know that you did legally obtain these subscribers and you have permission to contact them. So in order to do that, I'm first going to go to my Aweber control panel. And when I'm in here, I'm going to go to subscribers. So let's click on subscribers. And then that's going to pull up all of my subscribers for the list that I've selected. And this is my biology list. You see, I have 15,882 subscribers. I actually went through and deleted about 4,000 um, today that were not active. Um, so now I have my list of subscribers. From there, you can just come down here and click on export CSV and that will save a CSV file on your hard drive and that is what you're going to import. Here's the issue. The people that have subscribed to this list have subscribed at different times. Now I'm going to have some people that subscribed over the last three weeks in my autoresponder sequence. So the emails that I send out automatically, I have about three weeks of messages. So the ones that signed up before those three weeks, I don't want them to go through um, the follow-up sequence again. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to select the subscribers that I'm going to select here. Date added is before and then I'm going to select a date. So today is the 2nd of April. I'm going to go back about three weeks. So week one, week two, week three. And let's say I'm going to go back to the 10th of March. All right. And then I'm going to click search. So this will not be all of my subscribers. I'm first going to do the, the group that's before um, the last three weeks. And then I'm going to import the rest so that the rest that I do import still go up, go through that follow up sequence. If that sounds complicated, you can ask me questions in the comments below. Um, but if you want to keep it really simple, you can just import all of your subscribers in one go. If you have a follow up sequence, you might want to consider breaking it up into chunks. So I'm going to go ahead and click on export CSV. Then it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I am just going to call this um, biology list and I'm going to save that right there to my desktop. All right, so I am ready to import it into get response. I'm going to come to get response and I can come here to contacts and say import contacts or, you know, since there's this big button here that says add contacts, I'm just going to go ahead and click on that one. It's nice and big and I like that. Now, if this is the first time you're doing this, it is going to look a little different. It's going to have a checkbox here that you need to check to certify that your list is permission based and it meets the get response um, anti spam policy. The main thing here is don't be sending people stuff they didn't request because you're going to be spamming them and they're going to report you as spam. And that's just not cool. Um, so just don't do that. If you're emailing people, on a list, make sure they subscribe to it. So you have some options. You can just, you know, paste your contacts here or you can upload a file. This is what we're going to do. We're going to upload a file. We're going to go to choose that file and I'm going to choose my biology list file and click on open. And then, and this is the first time I'm doing this. So hey, hopefully everything goes well. Uh, I'm going to click on import contacts. I have no idea how long this is going to take because this is my first time doing it. So we're going to see what happens. All right. So it has um, imported my, it's starting to import my contacts and I need to configure these details to make sure that they are exactly the way I want them to do. Now, these are email addresses and that's what it has selected there. That's correct. The name, we have the names here. So I'm going to 
make sure that it's selected name and then there's some information here some numbers that's not relevant to me um, then there's some dates that they were imported that's not as relevant to me let's see what here no they don't have anything there that's relevant and I'm just gonna show all custom fields um, and the reason I'm doing that is just in case when you um, had them subscribe you had additional details and also it gives you some more details that you may not have um, so for example it can tell you the country that they signed up from and that's good to know so I'm just gonna come here and select country um, and here I see uh, the state I think well yeah I see FL so that's Florida so I'm gonna put that as state uh, this looks like city um, so I'm gonna select city um, this looks like a zip code or a postal code I'm gonna select postal code and there are some other um, details here that's specific to Aweber I'm not gonna worry about any of those but I'm gonna make sure to select the common ones I see here it also shows the URL that you, they used to sign up from um, but I don't know that nope it doesn't have that here so I'm not gonna worry about that it shows their IP addresses and you can see that here so that's selected correctly and um, yeah I'm pretty much good to go. So let's go to the next step and see what happens. Let's see how long it takes to import. All right, now I can select the campaign. Okay, I've selected interactive biology. Uh, I want them to be added into the cycle on day. And I don't want it day one. I don't want any of that stuff. I, I can select to add it um, on day 21 if I want. So, you know, I'm going to do that. Um, then it has you select. Are you going to do a confirmed op opt in this? I don't want them to confirm their opt in because they've already confirmed. So I'm going to leave that off and then I'm going to click on finish import. It's taking a little while. Like I said, it's the first time, but I'm importing a lot of subscribers. How many was I importing? Um, 14,366. So if you have a smaller list, it's gonna it's not gonna take as long one other thing I want to mention if you sign up for the free account you have the free 30-day trial um, you can only import up to I think it's 250 subscribers if you want to import more you have to get a paid account and you can check the prices on the prices page so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pause the video and wait for it to finish uploading or importing and then I'm gonna come back All right, so it says your list has been Im imported. Here's the thing, it has to go through the compliance department. They need to verify my list before I can start sending messages. Um, and when you think about this, this really has to do with them just verifying that these aren't you know, crap emails that you purchase, that you don't have permission to email, um, that it's not um, fake emails or anything of that sort. So they're gonna go through this verification process. It says that it normally takes up to seven business hours. Um, so that's not a very long time. So by tomorrow, I should be verified, if not sooner, and they will contact me if they have any questions. That's pretty much it. I've successfully imported the first set of contacts, and then now I can go through and import the rest. So this is Leslie Samo from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. And if you would like to sign up for Get Response, you can go to becomeablogger.com slash get response. But until next time, take care and God bless.